melody became a very, very small part of what it was about. And that's really where you get this, the, the cliche that, you know, the Eddie Murphy routine of, ow! That's the, it starts here, that whole definition of James Brown is this kind of wailing character over these vamps. It began during that era. And it really redefined what soul music was. I recorded that song in 1956, and it was my first hit. Same year Elvis had his first hit with Hound Dog. I had a lot of fun singing Please, 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 though, because every time I sang, I sung it seven years before I got a chance to record it. Coach Sid Nathan, my manager of the record company and the owner, he thought I was saying it too many times. I said it 26 times before he got started. He said, nobody's going to buy a song like that, James. They don't want that. He didn't like the song. He said, now, he said, just take a listen to this. All y'all saying is, please, 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 please. Well, where's the, where's everything at? Where's the rest of the stuff, you know? He didn't like it at all. But that was a song that really put us on the map. 